Hi guys, Chelsea here. Welcome to another video. Today I am joined by a KU student who is going to be sharing his experience studying at the Kenyatta University. Hello. Hello. Tell us your name. Okay, my name is Mshindi Isaac. What year are you in? I'm in third year. What course? Um, architecture. How long is it? Architecture takes uh, precisely six years. Six years? Yes. Why did you choose architecture? Uh, architecture, normally, normally I, say, I don't say that I actually chose the, mm -hmm. the course, but uh, it's actually the course that chose me. Okay. Yeah, okay. so architecture chose me. Okay. Why did you choose KU? Uh, as I always say, Kenyatta University was uh, my, my, dream camp, my dream university. Uh, all the way since I was a kid, I always wanted to join Kenyatta University. Okay. And then uh, there was this time when my sister now came to this uh, mm -hmm. university, so it became like more of it. So I wanted to, to be at that part. You know? Ah, okay. Interesting. What are some stereotypes about KU and are they true? I think uh, some of the stereotypes are what, whatever the, the other song, there's that song that uh, came out some time okay. back when people <laughs> mm -hmm. were saying that, uh, you know, Akuna Masomo KU, uh -huh. something like that. Okay. So that, I think that's a stereotype mm -hmm. because uh, some of us are really struggling this side because there is like too much we are doing. We had, like there's too much we are doing. Kuna masomo, kuna masomo nyingi sana. Okay, yamesema kuna masomo KU. Okay, describe a typical outfit a KU student wears. A typical outfit. That's a bit uh, wide because I think everyone wears something different. Like, for example, uh, for me, you would find me normally, not on a days like this, but normally I'd be in some official we official wear. Okay. But uh, you, you see, there are some other people who are so focused on, you know, the casual, the whatever. So there's like no typical attire that uh, the, a Kenyatta University, that you can see a Kenyatta University student and say that this one is from Kenyatta University. Okay. Reach the drip 1 to 10. Which one? The general for the students. Uh, the drip, I think it's a 7. I, I'd give a 7. Okay. What do you like about KU? KU, I think, uh, first of all, it's about the, the infrastructure and the architecture of the place. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we have a lot of backgrounds you can take pictures from, we have a lot of places. You, you know, when you chill out in a place, you just feel like you're in a campus, you're in a university. Okay. Like, there's, that, there's that idea that you cannot find in so, so many other universities. So I think that's one of the best things about KU that oh. uh, I find. What do you dislike about KU? Dislike? I think uh, it's, it's all over. I think it's not just in KU. Uh -huh. Because I've, I've had friends from other universities mm -hmm. and they've said the same thing about, you know, the issue with the lecturers and students. The, the missing mark issue. Ah. So there's this missing mark issue that actually okay. affects a lot of students. Okay. But I don't think it's just in KU. Okay. Yeah. Did your university meet your expectations? Was it better or worse than you expected? Uh, about expectations, uh, I would say that uh, it's trying. I, I, I can't say okay. it, it met my expectations okay. exactly. Uh -huh. Be okay, expectations in terms of the infrastructure, it met that. Mm -hmm. But in terms of uh, whatever I was coming here to do, mm -hmm. Uh, maybe it is. Uh, it's. Uh, it's there. It's coming. It's okay. Not, it's not there yet. Yeah. Okay. Fair. How much do you spend roughly in a day? Uh, I'm actually so. Sometimes I can be so extravagant. Mhm. Mm so I. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. But if I maybe if I check if I check I could know. But I don't know. Okay. I use a lot of money sometimes. Five hundred and above. Yeah. Okay. How do most students get to school? Do they drive or use public transport? Most of them actually, uh, because we, most of them are living around. Mm -hmm. Because behind us here we have KM, mm -hmm. and there's a, there's a Kawasukari the other side. Mm -hmm. So I, most of them from KM and Kawasukari, they actually walk. So they are like these pedestrians on the road. Uh. So they actually walk. And then there's a few, a very small percentage that actually drive. 
and then another smaller percentage that uh, uses public transport. Okay. What are the common lunch spots and how much do you spend there? The common lunch spots, I've never used a lunch, uh, I need a lunch. I've never eaten my lunch in school. Okay. So I actually don't know. Mm, but where do most students go? They go to the student center. Okay. They, are, they always go to the student center. And I've actually taken someone there. I think uh, I spent 180 on that person. Okay. 180 shillings, yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, how likely are you to graduate on time? On a scale of 1 to 10, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. Because graduation, graduating from a university is one thing. Uh -huh. You know. So, uh, actually, about that, I would give, uh, let's say, 6. Okay. Six on time. That is on okay. time because uh, normally you don't. You don't actually get on time. Okay. Yeah. Is there cheating in exams? Things like formation. Yeah, I think uh, there is some so, some things like that. I've heard that about that mm -hmm. uh, because, uh, like any other university, mm -hmm. every other students uh, always try to, you know some uh, some Cheat dubious means mm -hmm. some dubious means to mm -hmm. pass the exams mm -hmm. but it's not actually so much widespread okay. but it's something that you hear about okay. because personally I've I've not like seen a person doing that okay okay yeah. are your classes mostly online physical or both are my classes uh, for architecture it is actually so difficult for a class to be online mm -hmm. so most of our classes we we have them physically because mm -hmm. you know the issues about design and everything, you cannot learn them online. Mm -hmm. You have to do them practically. What is the dating culture like? Are there serious couples or is it mostly hookups and situationships? I guess in Kenyatta University, I'd say most of them are not serious. Aha, okay. Most of them are not serious. Mm -hmm. It's just about the, how, how would I put this? It's the convenience. It's about the convenience because you are here, I'm here, so why can't we just do okay, it for, for okay. now, you know? <laughs> okay, yeah. I understand that. So it's something like uh, mm -hmm. convenience. Mm, okay. Yeah. What are some cool events exclusively for KU? I think uh, for KU, I'm not sure about, I'm not sure about a culture week. It's a culture week, something exclusive for KU, but uh, because I've heard it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, but I think uh, Whatever I enjoy most in KU, the events is the culture week thing. Do you stay at home or in the hostels? I've never actually been in a hostel. Mm -hmm. I've not seen a, ho a Kenyatta University hostel before. So I've, I actually stay in uh, KM here, mm -hmm. at KM. So since I joined, that is uh, 2019. How does KU keep your mental health in check? Mental health? Uh, so about mental health, mm -hmm. uh, there's, a, there's a circle, I don't know how to call it, but there's a circle that I was actually in, mm -hmm. uh, in my first year. Mm -hmm. It's called uh, Kusako, Kenyatta University student, uh, I don't know something, mm -hmm. it's Kusako. Mm -hmm. So this, uh, this organization or a circle or whatever mm -hmm. it is, mm -hmm. it was actually dealing with the mental health of students and mm -hmm. it, it was uh, providing counseling mm -hmm. uh, to students who needed it. Mm -hmm. uh, there are also student peers who could go around, you know, administering these uh, services to students. Okay. Do you like how you are taught? How we are taught? Mm -hmm. Every lecturer has, has their own way of teaching. Mm -hmm. So I would not say that uh, I, I dislike it or mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. But uh, there are lecturers who actually know what they're doing. Uh -huh. And there are those who, who think that they are reminding us what we know. Okay. But sometimes we don't know what they are talking yeah, about, but no. they teach as if they are reminding us. So they, there's that difference. Okay. Yeah. Are there famous people at KU and have you met or interacted with any of them? I, they are famous people. Mm -hmm. I think they are famous people. But uh, I don't think I've met one. Okay. With the, like in person, I don't think I've met one. What is your best memory of your university life so far? My best memory? That would not be about even the school. Uh -huh. That would be about the experience, mm -hmm. the, uh, the things that we are, we are doing out here. So oh. it's about uh, the other things. Let's, let's, say, let's call them the co-curricular things. Yeah, the okay. co-curricular things uh -huh, that uh, uh -huh. we actually do. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to mention them, but uh, 
it's not about the school. Okay. How many are you in your class? In my class, uh, I think we are about 45. Is there a gender balance? Not exactly, because mm -hmm. we are actually more men. There are more male students than, than uh, females. Yeah. Uh -huh. are, what's the most memorable thing any of your classmates has done in class? I think it's uh, something bad. Mm -hmm. I, some, they, some, of, uh, some of them actually, I think they fought. Oh. Uh, they fought in class. Not so much fighting, but just a bit. You know, to. You know, guys, boys, the mm -hmm. way boys operate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so there was something like that. On a scale of 1 to 10, how attractive is your student body? That's a tricky question, a mm -hmm. bit, because. Uh, mm -hmm. Now I don't know what I'm basing that they are attractive. Your own for. definition of attractiveness. I think maybe let me just say seven. Okay. One thing you would change about KU is. One thing I would change. Mhm. Mm I think uh, I've not thought about that yet. But uh, if I was to change something like right now. Mhm. Mm I would uh, change the way uh, the administration sometimes is so uh, separated from the student. Uh -huh. You know mm -hmm. that idea, because uh, we mm -hmm. we should uh, we should actually know that, like in a university like this one, mm -hmm. the students are the clients. Yeah. True. So without us, mm -hmm. uh, there's no this university. So like there True. should be that idea of you know taking us as some some form of more equals than you know some I don't know how to put this actually okay how safe is your campus I would say it's uh, according to what they do mm -hmm. what they do I think it's safe yeah because they actually don't allow people anyone just inside yeah. or outside yeah you know yeah so there's so much security mm -hmm. across all the gates okay do you have a side hustle a side hustle mm-hmm I would, I would not exactly say a side hustle because it actually comes intermittently. Okay. So maybe maybe I have, but it comes intermittently. Okay. I might have uh, something to do today, mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow, and then maybe next week I don't have anything to do. But uh, I think uh, there's something that keeps me up. Is KU diverse? Does it have people from all counties represented? Yeah, I think it's diverse. It's diverse enough. Mm -hmm. Uh, because, uh, for example, in my class we have like everybody. I think we have everybody okay. from uh, from all uh, counties. I think. Okay. I really think so. Mm -hmm. And what about socio-economically? Are most people from the upper, middle, or lower class backgrounds? I think most of them are just middle class. Uh -huh. Most of them are middle class. But there are few who are the the other side of the divide, the upper yeah. class, and then there are those ones who are okay. lower. But there are very few. Most of them are middle class. Okay. How do people react when you tell them you go to KU? That depends with where, mm -hmm. which people. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, the people in my village, mm -hmm. of course, they'll be respecting me. Mm -hmm. They'll be seeing me like there's a icon mm -hmm. to look up to. Mm -hmm. They would be telling their, their children to look up to me, mm -hmm. be like me. So mm -hmm. it depends. It, it really depends with the where mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, the sort of thing. Approximately how much do you walk on a school day? In steps or kilometers? I think it's uh, maybe a kilometer and something. Mm. Yeah. How hard are your exams? Now, I, I don't know how to measure how hard it is mm -hmm. because sometimes it, it also depends with the, with the person speaking. Mm -hmm. Because I might say that this exam is hard but for you it's not. And so I you say, give us your perspective. My perspective, I think, uh, uh, I don't know how to say, I, I don't know how to put that, but I think there are those ones that are difficult, mm -hmm. and there are those ones that are medium, mm -hmm. but have never actually been an exam that I, I was out of, the, of it, and I was like, ah, now what, what was that? Okay, you know? okay. Because there is actually no easy exams, mm -hmm. unless what? you set them. <laughs> True. What's your favorite song at the moment? I don't have exactly a single song that is my favorite, mm -hmm. but I have maybe an artist, my favorite artist. Mm -hmm. And all his songs actually just, I listen to them like all the time. And he is? 
uh, boy, the boy in space. Boy in space, space. Yeah, yeah, part of it. I really yeah. like his songs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you get a lot of assignments? Assignments, I would say a lot of group works. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of group works to do. What holds more weight on your final grade? Exams or assignments? I think for me, um, uh, like speaking for me, as you mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. I think it's the exams. Mm. Because if I, if I, if I even had uh, the ability to just do like two exams mm -hmm. for the same unit, mm -hmm. I, could have, I could actually be doing that. Because I, I don't like the card thing and the assignments. Oh, and okay. The, just boring. What's your number one tip to succeed at KU? Number one tip, I would say, so which succeeding is this? Uh, academically. Academically, mm. I think you just need to be to be out of the world when you come to class. Mm -hmm. Because there are people who actually try to incorporate the two of them together, but that doesn't work. Okay. When you're, you're in class and you're focusing on your studies, you should just be mm -hmm. like the studies alone. And then you end up party after party, you end up like you see, you see, you see, you see, you balance. Oh. There's no balancing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But How many libraries do you have? Actually, you have one large library. Okay. Yeah. Does your school help you secure jobs and internships? Uh, I don't know about jobs, mm -hmm. but internships, again, they don't. The, for, for my course, mm. because I've had uh, so, some students from the School of Education, mm -hmm. they, they were actually helped to secure the, their attachments. But for us, we actually did them. Did, did find ourselves the, mm -hmm. the, the positions in okay. different places. What's the most popular course at KU? The most popular would be education. Okay. Have you ever had a crush on one of your classmates? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I think, what is a crush, first of all? Like, what is a crush? <laughs> uh, someone I would want to date, someone I think uh, is attractive. Yeah. Some, I think let's go with the second one. Someone I think is attractive. Yeah. I think I've, I've de de definitely I have about mm -hmm. three of them maybe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to tell us the names. You can stop no, I there. Don't I, I yeah. wasn't that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your favorite building? Favorite building? That would be the Chinese building. Oh, in At, Kenyatta? Yeah. KU. Uh, that would be the Chinese building where mm. I where my school is okay it's like the best uh, building in ku actually okay and yeah. your favorite chilling spot favorite chilling spot i don't think i get the time to chill yeah uh -huh. so i don't i don't know i don't know about chilling spots maybe i chill in the studio okay uh, is ku clean clean mm -hmm. it's actually if i was to rank it uh, on a scale of 10 mm -hmm. I'd say it's about eight okay it's clean is missing classes a big deal it is a very big deal, mm -hmm. and uh, they actually take it so seriously that uh, that some students actually miss to go to the next class because of that, because you are not allowed to do the exams. Okay. Yeah. In your time at KU, has there been a strike or rumors of one? There actually has been a strike when I was here, in, mm -hmm. that is uh, 2019, mm. I think 2019. Mm -hmm. There was actually a very, like a big strike here, and, uh, it was so pathetic. Okay. Yeah. Who is your favorite alumni? Uh, my favorite alumni would be the president. The president who was uh, actually here. Mm -hmm. uh, the same, same year. That, that is uh, Aika. Aika. Okay. How have you changed since joining KU? By changing, you mean? Grown, self-development. I think in terms of... Uh, physical changes mm -hmm. I don't know I'm not sure about that but maybe I've grown mm -hmm. uh, I think I've grown some things there yeah. okay so, <laughs> <laughs> so about physical changes those are the changes mm -hmm. about uh, the, the whatever uh, now as a as a person now mm -hmm. growing as a person I mm -hmm. think I've, uh, I've actually grown a lot because uh, the, the way I, I used to see life but before then, I think it's not the same way I can see life right now. Okay. Yeah. Do you have free days in between classes? Pardon? Do you have free days in between classes? Free days, no. Mm -hmm. For my course, we don't have those ones. Okay. 
Are your classes mostly in the morning, afternoon, or evening? Uh, maybe it's the whole day. Because, okay, for, for example, today is Tuesday. Mm-hmm. So, on a day like this, I don't have classes in the afternoon. Just that. And on Thursday, I don't have classes in, in the afternoon. Mm. But the rest, one, the rest of the day is mm-hmm. from 7 to 6. Do you think a university degree is still important? A university degree? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, if a person says that it's not important, it's actually maybe because they don't have one. But, uh-huh. uh, but if mm. you really look at it, mm-hmm. a university degree is mm-hmm. actually very important and you should have it. In as mm-hmm. much as you might be doing something else, mm-hmm. but you should actually have that. Mm-hmm. Yes. What are your hobbies? My hobbies would be uh, sleeping. Okay. <laughs> I <can laughs> because I don't it. get a, a lot of time to sleep, so mm-hmm. that is one of my hobbies. I, okay. I just want to sleep okay. and then I draw. Mm-hmm. I'm an artist, mm-hmm. sort of. Sort of you're an artist. an artist and you're an architect. Okay. Yes. And then uh, I also sing sometimes. Mm. Sing. Okay. As a kid, what did you want to become when you grew up? <laughs> I've always seen myself as a doctor. Mm. That is the painful truth. Like I've always seen myself as a doctor and mm. I was actually working towards that mm-hmm. until uh, something happened mm. and I, I am here, an architect, aspiring. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. How serious of a student are you on a scale of 1 to 10? As, okay, the seriousness, are we talking about the academic seriousness? or? Yeah, yeah, as a student. Academic seriousness, I think I'm a very serious student. Mm-hmm. I would say I'm a very serious. I don't want to, to rank it between te, a, okay. a, a, in a scale of 10. Very serious. I think okay, I'm fine. very serious. How many school-related PDFs do you have on your phone? School related. Mm-hmm. I might not know exactly, but I have a, Quite a, lot. a number of them. Oh. What's the last thing you googled? The last thing I googled. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is recreation room layout. Okay. A recreation room layout. I don't know if that, if you get what that is. Mm, I don't. <laughs> but <laughs> it's actually like we are, we are doing something about studio work. Okay. In our studio work, and uh-huh. then so the area analysis part of architecture okay. you have to know what a room layout looks like as mm. a given room layout yeah. oh. how long are your school holidays my school holidays i think we it's it's the december holiday so maybe one or three two weeks oh. one or two weeks okay. i think yeah okay. because we don't actually have those holidays mm. how are you really feeling today today yeah I'm hungry mm-hmm. and I'm a bit, uh, I was a bit anxious before, mm-hmm. before this because I didn't know what kind of questions okay. I'm going to be asked. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then uh, I think generally I was just okay, just mm. okay. Okay. Does your school have a dress code? Pardon? Does your school have a dress code? My school? Mm-hmm. No. Mm. Everybody has their own. Have you considered dropping out? Not exactly. Never. I've not thought about that. Okay. Because I'm a serious student. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a very good answer. What would you tell your first year self? My first year self. Mhm. I'd actually tell that guy to to keep up because I think I joked I joked a lot in first year. Mhm. And uh, it might have affected me in one or two ways. Mhm. So I'd have. Uh, I would tell my first year self to actually be so serious about whatever I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Because I used to see those things as, you know, what are we doing actually? This is not even architecture. You know, in first year, it, it doesn't mm-hmm. sound like architecture mm-hmm. at all. So you're like, now what are we doing? And you don't even work so hard about it. Would you recommend KU to anyone? <coughs> I would recommend KU. I would really recommend KU, mm-hmm. for, especially for those doing education going for education courses mm-hmm. and you know the other the courses mm-hmm. but uh, I would actually give them you know a piece of whatever KU is so after recommending them mm-hmm. I would give them a piece of what KU is mm-hmm. so that they make the choices themselves okay. maybe something that uh, yeah. I didn't mention and then I True. like you know uh, you can share your social media handles if you don't mind my social media handles uh, I would only share my Instagram okay fine it is at Mshindi Isaac. So it's just my name. Okay. Mshindi Isaac. 
Thank you so much for your time today. It was interesting to get to know your perspective on KU and also to break the stereotypes that have been created by certain songs and narratives out there. Bye. Bye.